the format of the robot. Hello, my name is Gia the Jaguar, and today I'll be reading another Madagascar creepypasta that are the likes of THX and all that jazz. I'm here with Drew Pickles, for this swell narration of a terribly made pasta. Isn't that right, Drew? Uh, of course, Gia. You see, we're from a group called the Robot Punch, and you can tell that it's similar to the Lion Punch by the Lion Queen. I'm here with one of my swell friends to read a Madagascar creepypasta, even though she did two of those shitty stories based on that franchise that needs more attention. Hey Gia, remember that reference to Madagascar in that little Einstein's crappy pasta? Certainly yes, it was very swell. For voice acting in this pasta, we might bring out some of my friends for this swell narration. You go first you swell human being. Okay you swell jaguar. I told you all about the deleted version of the fascist chasing Marty, and attempting to eat him from Madagascar. Well, there is another deleted scene. This is going to be scarier than it is before in the afternoon. I was at McDonald's to get a 10-piece chicken nuggets, double bacon cheeseburger, medium fries and chips ahoy McFlurry. Peg, McDonald's is my favorite swell kind of restaurant which has my friend Ronald McDonald who always had swell fun in every McDonald's establishment. I know, I always love to go there with my friends Alex, Marty, Gloria, Melman, Vidaly, Stefano, and including my little human friend named Toby. Let's proceed more of this swell pasta. After eating at McDonald's, I went home from McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's was said twice in one sentence. This proves how out of hand lost episode creepy pastas are nowadays with the likes of DHX and Tex, which is spreading like Elsa Gate on YouTube back in the day, like with the Barney Bunch and its disgusting content on new grounds. I believe that THX creepy pastas are the Elsa Gate and Barney Bunch of Spin Pasta Wiki. I know, it's sad that this is how lost episode creepy pastas are, as of THX pastas, including that of Teletubbies. They were just pointless and shitty crossover fanfictions rather than creepy pastas, especially if they were lost episode ones. Suddenly, my mom came in and she said she found a never before seen DVD of Madagascar. I took a good look at the DVD. The DVD was all about one lost internship recreation of Fossa's Chase Marty seen from Madagascar. God damn it! I know, lost internship and deleted scene creepy pastas just suck really badly. It got to the point where text from THX would be featured in those recreations and deleted scenes, like with Toy Story and Monsters Inc. back in 2021. No wonder why making a lost internship creepypasta of a show or movie would be a good idea, like with SpongeBob, compared to the shit that is milking the entire wiki. I agree, so let's continue. I was only anxious that there was only one menu button on this DVD. I pressed play. And at the very beginning, there was a warning. Warning, this lost, deleted internship recreation from Madagascar, 2005, is not suitable for younger viewers, as it contains graphic violence. Watch at your own risk. I face pond in annoyance. Here comes the scary part. I said in painlessly. Then, the clip finally started. Come on, you know the words. To little words. Marty said to a depressed Alex. Please. Don't make me sing this by myself. You really don't want to hear me sing this by myself. The facet climbed down the rocks to surround Marty and oh my gosh. They have black eyes, red pupils and crying blood. Oh my goodness! I said, like Plankton from Spongebob Squarepants. Peg, that was a swell Spongebob reference. Well, I have never seen that coming in a Madagascar creepypasta like this before. Spongebob is a really swell dude. And he's one of the members of the Robot Bunch. Uh, Alex, could you come out here for a minute? Marty said, getting a little worried, and backing away from the fossa. Hey Alex, a little help. The fossa lunges at him. <laughs> help me. Marty screamed, panicking and running away as the fossa chases him. Alex, help. Alex hears Marty's cries, and prepares to save him. Help me! Anybody help me! Somebody! Marty screamed, frantically as the fossa were gaining on him. As he turned around, 
he saw two fusses sprinkling salt over his butt, then screams and shakes them off. <coughs> Marty screamed as he ran faster, but the fuss had blocked his escape, and formed a ring to trap the helpless zebra. Please, no, don't kill me, I'm just a zebra. No, no, no. Marty screamed. The fossa make a dog pile to eat Marty. It cuts to black with Marty screaming. But it was blood curling, as if his voice actor Chris Rock was being tortured for fun. The scream was so loud that I had to cover my ears. When I uncovered them, they were bleeding. Why was this shit said numerous times in these types of creepy pastas, including THX ones? This is basically realistic screaming from a voice actor, who is just your typical trope of all creepy pastas, hence Freddy's depression. Also, there's no fucking way that your ears would bleed from a loud noise, when you covered them. What kind of logic is this, when it comes to lost episode creepy pastas? And oh god, the no 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 part, when a random cartoon character or actor in these kinds of pastas gets killed. That shit has been done to death. And that line is just your typical skin pasta story. Then it cuts to the corpse of Marty. One of his eyes were missing, while the other was blank. His ear is missing. His front legs were missing. His tail was missing. His mouth was just a deep hole, and he was crying blood. Then, the fossus turned back to normal and ran away. By the time, Alex got there. He was too late. He fell to his knees and starts crying. It fades to black and the clip ends. Then it cuts back to the DVD menu. I couldn't stand Marty's corpse. I rushed to the bathroom and vomited straight into the toilet. Then I cleaned the blood off my ears with a tissue. After that, I took the DVD out and shredded it. To quote the shadow reader in his Baby Einstein video, why did they think it's a good idea to sit there and burn the evidence, instead of maybe like showing it to the freaking world or something like that? Maybe it's because of the protagonist's irrationality. And oh god, my poor Marty, this comes to show how emotional I get whenever some of the good Madagascar characters die in these pastas. Well Gia, I feel sorry for your loss, but I strongly think your friends were luckily alive around the robot punch. Thank you Drew. Later that night, I started to have nightmares about the fossa killing and eating me the same way as Marty. But, in the final film, Melman saves Marty and Alex defeated the fossa. Stay away from those horrible deleted scenes. Or else. Bag, Bag. That, that was swell. Well, not as swell as my poor Marty, but it's only just a crappy pasta. On second thought, I would like to thank Marty here for his lines in this pasta. It is my honor to be here for this swell video, my pretty friend. Good luck. Thank you, Marty. So, any thoughts on this pasta, Drew Pickles? Well, I'm here to say that the grammar is not swell. For example, it's blood curdling, not blood curling, as in the sport, but with blood covered stones. On the other hand, you didn't say that damn James Winderstone made that fucked up deleted scene. First, Andrew Skinner, then Adam Kennington and James Winderstone, the assets who made demanded THX bullshit and the likes of that, including that off Toy Story and Madagascar. Not to mention that this lost internship bullshit needs to stop becoming more trash than it is, while it's spreading spin pasta like a plague. What are your thoughts exactly, Gia? Both swell and not swell. I had nothing to say, other than the death of Marty. It's always a ripoff after ripoff, hence one of Rahan Horton's works, which were ripped off to death, ruining the entire spin pasta wiki with its THX crap and the likes of it. Let's say we rate this story. Alright. For a crappy pasta or troll pasta, it was an average 5 out of 10 of swellness. And for a legit creepy pasta, it was a negative 5 out of 10. My name is Gia, the trapeze flying jaguar, and the prettiest of all, that brings you this message. And Drew Pickles, the swellest being in the world, and the handsomest one of all, that also brings you this message. See you later my little sweet teas, and remember, circus stick together. And stay swell. Bag, those ending stings are so swell. Also, shout out to some three swell people, the Lion Queen, the Shadow Reader, and an angry juice box. 
Hope you three sweet teas had a swell time being on YouTube.